Since uncivilised times, many humans have pursued a quest for the perfect ball. The Incas made balls from the sap of the rubber tree, while Europeans made theirs from pig bladders. Inflating them was a serious health hazard, and the balls tended to be wonky. So when Charles Goodyear made the first leather-clad, vulcanised rubber ball, there was celebration. Nevertheless, the first World Cup final was played with two balls. The Argentinians scored two goals with theirs, and the Uruguayans three with theirs. In many ways, it was back to the drawing board. It was the Danish who, inspired by architect Buckminster Fuller, combined 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons to make a truncated icosahedron. For 50 years, it was the ball of choice. But today, we have created balls with fewer panels, no water absorbency, astonishing sphericity, and amazing rebound. But whether you're using a space-age ball or one made from an inflated condom wrapped with plastic bags and string, hmm. it's what you do with it that counts. <laughs>